I'm Kendra Burton. Today we are talking about um, mural painting. This was done in three sections and it was prepared by taking plywood instead of stretcher bars that you connect at the corners. The plywood is one solid piece and you cut it out and I'll just push in here so you can see. Uh, in this area it's about this wide and the piece of wood comes like that. It's the same for each of the three pieces. So it's cut out in the middle, and then that, that makes it a little less heavy, but it makes it really sturdy as well. In this one in the middle, we, we left a crossbar kind of right in here. You can feel it when you touch it. So I thought that was a really interesting way to do it. So then the canvas was stretched out around the outside and stapled to the back. This Actually, you know, I don't have a title to this one either. Maybe you can come up with something and send it in to me. I wanted to create three different panels that could stand on their own. If you looked at this one alone, or the center one, or the one that's on the right, and yet something that would fit together as well. I especially love the Sawtooth Mountains of Idaho, and so this one's fashioned um, with a little bit of liberty after Mount McGowan by Stanley Lake. And then I wanted to do a waterfall that looks a little bit like places where I live. This one was fashioned a bit after a waterfall that's not too far from me. And then of course I love aspen trees and so I put aspens on both sides. The lake in the middle is representative of the lake that I love that's near Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, in the northern part. As far as the technique, I tried to keep it fairly loose um, using big paint brushes and large strokes. It did have a canvas wash underneath it and I used burnt sienna and just some water. Not water, actually in, when you use acrylics you can use water, when you use oils of course just use your thinner. So in this one, um, it was acrylic with, with uh, water. Let's see what else I can tell you. I just love the idea of it. I love the size of it. And it was one that I decided to do after I had worked with a group of people on some large landscape murals that were even much bigger than this. It was a real highlight for me to be able to work with that group of people. And so I decided to have something like that in, in my own home as well. Thanks for listening today, and if you'd like more information, you can go to KendraBurton.com.